Hello and welcome. I'm John Monson, and this is another video on some car issues. Those of you who have seen any of my videos on the channel will be aware that uh, not that long ago, the uh, Grey Goose here, the 1962 fixed head coupe that uh, I drove across from San Francisco to Orlando with my son uh, in 2022, after a full restoration got rear-ended while I was sitting in uh, traffic, um, stationary, by a hit-and-run driver who immediately drove away, never to be seen again. Car got badly smashed. Um, how badly? Um, I hope you can see in this video. Um, these are some still pictures and some updated um, iPhone videos, so we're not talking Hollywood quality here, but I just wanted you to be able to see um, some of the progress um, of the um, stripping down of the rear end of the car, the bits that are broken, um, the structural bits, the sheet metal bits, and um, the progress of its uh, recovery. Um, we're aiming for maybe three months um, to get it back on the road. Um, the work's being done by David Ferguson and the team of Images Auto Body in Campbell, California. He built the car for me, um, having found it in a in a shed in California. So. Um, enjoy or, or not so much um, the pictures and uh, the videos um, like and subscribe um, and most importantly send me some comments as to um, what do you think um, of the damage and um, uh, and the repairs that's going on fingers crossed thanks for watching so let's start by looking at the car with a brief video I took uh, on the day the side, as you can see here, is buckled. It was a square on hit. I was sitting stationary at the traffic, slammed into the back. The guy was doing about 20 miles an hour in a Nissan SUV. Um, smashed the rear in. As you can see, the tail lid is buckled. And all the way here, it's buckled um, straight forward as well up to the door, which is actually cracked. Everything in front of that is apparently okay. Um, and when I was able to drive the car home, um, there was a distinct smell of fuel, which made me wonder about the uh, fuel tank as I was uh, driving along. So step one. And these are some still images of the car on the day. Um, at this stage, it was unclear whether there was any structural damage, so the car was shipped back to California, um, back to Dave Ferguson, who immediately put the car up on a, a, a rack and started stripping off the metal fuel tank, as you see, took a hit, and the rear end um, was taken apart, looking for areas of structural damage versus just sheet metal uh, injury. You can see from this pile here, most of it was sheet metal. I'm going to show you um, a buckle here in uh, the rear arch um, and here. Um, however, the center piece was uh, removable and is just sheet metal. It's not structural. Car was wrapped and hermetically sealed, as you can okay. see. We got it all bagged up, and of course, hermetically sealed. That's a welding blanket there. It's got cardboard on the inside of that. This panel here is going to be changed. Just a sheet metal and spot well. There's nothing structural here. These are going. These shields here. Um, this is the the rear support here. It's all sheet metal. Um, it's got a kink here. Our specs were good to here. They were good here, here, which is structural. But this was off. This measurement obviously was down and forward. So that's getting changed. But this, all the metal on the back is just basically sheet metal. It's not structural. It's more um, cosmetic, really. And all the way back in here, this, so this panel is here. And you can see this is, this is a spot welded piece, which is not super complicated we're not having to get into the cockpit tear all the interior out just the back back half and of course we could paint this bottom once it's all spot welded back together we can paint the bottom of the lift certainly before that goes in um yeah so it's all bagged up the rest of the car is all safe 
we're gonna we got all the parts to put on uh shelf and organize the rear end and get a good good bath we'll give it a good bath but it, it, it's uh it's good we'll, we'll double check everything when that walks out and everything's bagged up here of course we got everything covered and safe we got another hat we're getting this right things waffle pretty good uh we're removing the brace here right now this is the haunch this is all spot welded on as you can see here and through here we're removing the flanges this piece in, is in the process of break drilling out all the spot welds uh this piece here will be fit in place sink measured like this side and squared front to rear height length with the laser measuring system uh, these haunches will be going this is in the process of coming out. You can see there's some damage here and we're working on the spot welds to remove this panel here. So being careful with it, <clears throat> we've got the car double wrapped in plastic. We've got uh, welding blankets everywhere. So as to uh, protect the car really well so we're not making more work. Than and here uh, is the latest uh, video which just uh, confirms some of the uh, work that's already been done. Um, the support column here is being, has been uh, reinserted um, and uh, now has to be uh, measured up. We're waiting for sheet metal to replace this uh, cross section here, as you can see. Um, and uh, this again is just uh, cosmetic sheet metal, but easily replaceable. None of it is uh, structural. As you know from the very beginning, the uh, door uh, has to come off. Both doors have to come off, as does the bonnet, and um, to get realigned and fixed. And in fact, the rear boot lid is being replaced. It's so badly buckled. So watch this space and see how we get on.